Now if you watch the previous tutorial, you'll recognize these two pieces. There's a COMP1, COMP2, as you can see from looking here at the component window. And now I'm going to just put these guys together uh, to make a small box. So first thing I'm going to do is move him, pick him up by that corner, and lock that corner onto there. Now while I'm still in the move tool, I can just press once on the ALT key. That's the control key if you're using a PC. And I can pick this piece up by that corner and I can drag it across and you can see now I'm making a copy. Let me show you that one more time. This time I've chosen the end piece and move tool. Now I need to think this corner has to fit to that corner there. So first then press the Alt key, the plus sign appears on the cursor and then just move until I snap it onto there and there's my simple box. So now I have my box, what if I want to actually make a, a hole in it? I'm going to need to actually edit the component itself. So to edit the component you need to double click on it. Now you see that everything else has gone grey so you can now edit that component. So I'm first going to take the circle tool and to make sure I'm in the middle I'm going to go along here until I hit midpoint then I'm going to go along here until I mid hit midpoint and then I'm going to drag across until those two lines appear which extend from the two midpoints and click once and then I can drag out my circle until I've found a good size. I can then use the push-pull tool until that kind of face appears and then I have my hole. Now there's a problem because these two are the same component then if I make a hole here a hole will also appear here which is not necessarily what I want. So how can I avoid that? In order to show you how to avoid that problem I've gone back a couple of steps. So what I'm going to do is just click once on this component and what I want you to do is look what happens here in the component window. I'm going to right click now and I'm going to choose make unique. Now what that's going to do is make a new version of COMP1. So I have COMP1 now and I have COMP1 number 1. So there are two different versions of that component. So what I need to do now is double click to edit and now I can draw my circle just like I did before from the midpoint and midpoint drag down until I find the center and then pull out. That'll do. Now I can use the push-pull tool to make my hole and you can see now this time I've been able to edit this component without affecting the other component and that's by using the make unique function. 